Good morning, YouTube. Uh, Ave in Kentucky. I was away yesterday, so the wife didn't have me here to uh, grind and make a pot of coffee, so she used some stuff she found and thought she was getting Cafe Bustello. But Fuzzy had uh, gifted me. It was good coffee, uh, but it was Cafe El Moro. Um, comes out of Puerto Rico. Don't know if it's the same company. I don't think it is. It's decent, very dark roast. Um, comes in a packaging zone, almost identical. So, Fuzzy, if you know what's going on with that, let me know. Anyway, going to get a shave today. And I've got uh, gin and tonic on the rocks that we're going to use. Already preloaded in my Grey Dog uh, Coco Bolo brush and again lighting here just does not do justice to the greens and beauty of that handle star of the show is a injector razor but it is 3d printed by roger quintero does uh, amazing uh i don't know how he thinks these things up but just amazing ability he has with 3d printing um let me grab i've got my g here 66 and you see the comparison to the head handle everything beautiful uh i think one of his coolest looking ones to date i mean he's got some other really wild interesting ones um got the triceratops the raptor V2. We'll get to those eventually, but notice this one's got a little spring in here, and that's how you put your blade in, so you don't have to use a key and put it in. I have a fresh injector blade here. I'm trying to figure out which hand to put this in to load it. Anyway, fresh injector, shake injector. Just put it back in there, and it's in. There you go. Notice it held it up there when I dropped it down. I don't know if you can see it. There's a couple up top. There are two little, see those two things back in there recessed. Um, they grab these two things, uh, two openings. For lack of a better term, there's two nubs up there. fits into the two holes. Anyway, let's go ahead and wet the face and get lathering. So how are you all doing today? Roger was a great guy to deal with getting these out to me, and I appreciate it. Uh, he did it in a hurry. I wasn't in a hurry, but he very kindly accommodated me. So I got them sooner than expected. So I'm the next person in a pass around for the Alpha Bandit Razor. It's got uh, three heads to test out with it. So within a week, I should have that. It's a Saturday morning, and I don't know what time it is because the clock is behind you. Can you take a look at it for me? Can't hear you. What'd you say? Oh, okay. Let's take a look at it for ourselves. Let's see if I can get to it without knocking things over here. Sorry. All right. 10 till 6. Here's the clock, by the way. And now I've not spun it back, so it's all right. It says 10 till 7. It's really 10 till 6. Got to do the math. So here we go. 
with the Roger Quintero 3D printed injector. Extremely light razor. But holds that blade firm. smooth, easy to find, uh, feel the blade where it's at. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm, I'm shaving my chin. And I'm trying to think if there's one of the model injectors I'd compare it to. It, it uh, feels mild to me. Of course, I just shaved with the D, which is the most aggressive one that Chick made, as far as I'm concerned, out of the ones I've tried. Shout out to Steve, Gray Dog. If he's watching. Said he watches some of these, but I hope you and your family are doing well, Steve. What a great person of the uh, shave community. It's been around for a long time. Generously spreading smiles with all of his beautiful creations of brushes. And so shout out to Roger as well. Thank you, Roger, for getting this out quickly. I hope you and yours are well. Roger goes, he's on a lot of the forums, I think, under the uh, name Slim Gem. can't think of a model I'd compare this to. Uh, closest would be probably a G. But uh, I don't want to say it is a milder. Well, maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Milder razor than the G. It's certainly smoother. But it may be just as efficient on We'll see in a minute here. We'll see where we are at with our final reduction of 
here. fine Saturday. Got some friends coming for dinner this evening, but this morning I have to go finish taking down the rest of the tree for my dad. Pretty good sized silver maple. He had had it topped before. And it came back with a vengeance. And he just wanted it down, so I went over there Thursday, got it all down. I got one more spar sticking up in the huge trunk, and then a lot of cleanup to do. So that's what we're taking care of today. I'm sure you can hear the buttering toast sound. stuck in the freezer a turkey decided that I'm going to pull it out now and cook it so looking forward to that and the visit tonight with this. I'm amazed at how easy it is on the face. I don't have any trouble with the other chicks, but uh, This one definitely is. Even more mindless if that's possible. <laughs> and man, nice close shave. You gotta work for it a little bit more, but doing it with comfort, no irritation. Or pampering the what's left of my Humphreys. <clears throat>
Humphreys and also anybody that's over in Germany. I know I have some that are from different countries that watch as well. This stuff is great. You guys are very fortunate. I, I understand it's like a dime uh, store type of uh, scent, like three bucks a bottle. I would love to get some of this uh, to purchase. I'd probably get a dozen of them if I could, but I can't get them on eBay or anything anymore. And they're only available from what I've seen in Germany. And shipping that to here would be an issue. So, there you have it. Nice job, Roger. Compliments on it. Just the, the sheer design of it. Uh, it's just gorgeous. The mechanism. How that works. We'll take the blade out and, and clean it. Try to do this in such a way you can see. Without me cutting myself. Everything's reversed, Dave. <laughs> there. It's a lot easier to get out than that looked like. It's because I was upside down and backwards. I'm trying to make it visible to you. So, very nice. He's got a stainless steel spring inside there. And uh, feels like it works nice. Puts good tension on it. Beautiful design, Roger. And that was just a, a joy to use. Grab some spots there. Around my mouth. I get out there getting wind burned from the crazy winds we've had. Very warm, but really wild winds the other day. Working outside. All right, and we're going to use the Gents Gin from Clubman. I feel like it grabbed that one spot when I kept going over it. That's the danger of a mild razor. You don't feel anything. It's so smooth. You keep going, and before you know it, you've got yourself a little nick or something. It'll seal itself up. Ah, the price of chasing that smooth skin. Anyway, Dave in Kentucky. Hope everybody's doing good out there. We'll see you on the pages. Be safe. Be kind. Take care.